What's good? It's your boy TJ Goodfellow back with the Boxing Clinic. Shout out to the LDBC, the YTBC. And I must address the quitter, Grandma Rick and Dahlia, today, who quit. Uh, Bob Aram said, where did he injure his hand at in the locker room? And a lot of people, you know, is blasting him. You know, you can't go out there and talk all that ish, you know, on Twitter or talk all the ish in general saying you're going to whoop. Remember, Shane goes behind and you come out there and put a performance on like that. Um, he came out and fought like he didn't have a chance, you know. And, and the moment I knew it, it, he wasn't built for this fight was in a little co-feature they did of him. And they asked him, you know, basically how he got into boxing. He said, I, I don't love sports. You know, I only did it because I had to get I had to, to get out the field work in Cuba. And, um, you know, and I, I was good. I was always good at it, but um, I just didn't love it. I didn't like it. And you can tr- you can <laughs> You can't truly be the best at something if you don't like it, you know what I'm saying? And you don't love it, you know? And if you ain't got no love for the boxing game, at some point, you know, if you fight long enough at the prize fighting level, somebody going to test your will. And then, right then and there, on that co-feature, I knew, I knew that this dude, you know, wasn't going to win this fight. He don't have, he don't have the dog in him, you know? He talked like he got the dog in him, but he don't have the dog in him. And that was apparent. It's appearing in his way that he fights. You know, he fights passive. He fights safe. And, and uh, that's who he is. You know, he has a lot of ability. And this was a stretch moving on to, you know, two weight classes. And a lot of people, you know, he kind of he conned them into thinking he had a chance. He didn't con me. Um, I see the way that he fights. And that's why I, didn't, I never really understood why the rest of these guys was running from him. You understand, like Lomachenko said, he's a king in his own weight class. Exactly. But, um... Like, a guy like Santa Cruz would, you know, would, would make him fight. Frampton could make him fight. I always thought they feared the fact that his power, you know. And you could tell last night the little punch that he did swing, he threw with authority. And he had power, real power at 122. But um, last night, the perception has changed on him. He went to being, the, you know, one of the platinum and gold or one of the kings of the sport of boxing to, you know, drowning overnight. You know, that perception... That he got now, it would never change, you know. Um, and he will now and always will be labeled as a quitter. This fight will define his career. No matter what he goes on to do, this fight will define his career. And there's no excuses to make for this guy, you know. Uh, he wanted to fight. He said, I'll make excuses for the weight. The fight wasn't even really going on long enough for the weight to get, you know, become a major factor. But Lomacheco height was, you know. And um, he was punching. He, he was able to you know, come over the top a lot. You know, Rigondeaux had good defense. Lomachenko didn't land anything really, truly meaningful. You know, but he just spoke his, he just spoke his language very, very well. He figured Rigondeaux out. He knew what Rigondeaux was about. He knew Rigondeaux was one-dimensional. And um, and now this guy's going to flush in the way of shadows. And I can't believe he sold his soul out uh, for the more two-way classes for under 500K. For 400K, that's not a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Um to to take a risk like that a risk like the risk that he took is worth millions not just a million that's worth millions and on top of that he got the double whammy yesterday he lost his uh, wba 122 pound belt and he got embarrassed and he quit you know and he was talking all that junk about nicholas walters quitting and you go out there and follow suit you know what a hypocrite this dude ain't got a heart of a warrior you know and he told you that in a pre in a call feature you know, he ain't about that life. He really ain't a fighter. He really don't have it in him. You know, like Lomachenko said, I told my dad when I was younger, I want to fight. Forget the other sports. You know, he knew he was he's a fighter. You know, and uh, there's a lot of guys out here perpetrating, you know, acting and masquerading as fighters out here, man. It's a lot of them. You know, until the right person come along and make them realize what it really what it is, what it is, what it really is, you guys gonna be a lot of shot. You know, it's gonna be a lot more quitters out there. You know, especially amongst, you know, these top guys you think is really good, these prospects is moving up. The guys are going to continue to quit. The quit rate is at an all-time high because this generation might be physically advanced. You know, it might be stronger, faster. And then at the end of the day, they don't have a true – a lot of these guys don't have a true heart of a true lion, of a true warrior. And, you know, nobody would thought to cross their mind that Rick and Dye would quit. There's going to be a plenty more people quit, not just the hands of Lomachenko. As we get the best fight and the best now that Pacquiao made with the is over with, now everybody's going to see to fight each other. You're going to see a lot of guys quit that don't want to be fighters no more. And I'm going to say no names, but I, I see some potential quitters out there. You know, some prominent ones, too. Some popular ones. And um, you just don't know 
you know, how a fighter going to behave until, until, that, until that time comes, you know. A lot of guys can't push through it. A lot of guys don't care about being embarrassed. Just give me my check and I can go. And that was Rigondeaux. This was the ultimate money grab for Rigondeaux tonight or well, last night. And uh, he embarrassed me to the sport of boxing. He embarrassed, embarrassed me to the Cuban school of boxing. But uh, let me know what y'all think. We gone. Um...